You ready? Yeah. All right. Dearly beloved, friends, witnesses, pigeons, MTA workers, and the wonderful passers-by of the great city of New York. We are gathered here today, standing in the beautiful Grand Central Terminal in Manhattan, amongst hundreds of Russian commuters, to wed these two lovely human beings, Tom and Kendall. Having come from the other side of the world, of what Kendall says is the second greatest city in the world, of Melbourne, Australia, to what she calls the greatest city in the world, New York. <laughs> Now, New York is, uh, is an exciting place to get married. There's Broadway, there's nightclubs, there's architecture and museums. In Melbourne, I'm told, there's a thriving arts and music scene. Though Tom and Kendall's love story started way before that, in a town built on a dormant volcano, Auckland, New Zealand. I am the minister, Matt Dallow, and I am thrilled to be performing today's ceremony for these two lovebirds from down under. And before we proceed, if I may, I would love to play you to a little romantic melody that I hope you recognize. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we continue. All right. Tom, Kendall, you two met five and a half years ago. Kendall walks into her office, and there was Tom. She was his new boss. Kendall overheard Tom in his office talking about his weekend with his partner, Dan. That, and as she puts it, his sweet ass, made her originally think that he might be gay. Well, lucky for her, it turns out Tom was not gay, and a friendship and bond between him and Kendall began to form. They were friends for six months before Tom became available. Eventually, they ended up in Australia together with a few bottles of cheap wine, and they've been riding that amazing one-night stand ever since. <laughs> but we've only just met, and most of what I know of you comes from your questionnaires. I immediately can feel the love and deep commitment you two have for one another. You both enjoy each other's cynical sense of humor. You both love getting into epic competitive cooking matches for your friends. <laughs> you love playing video games together and spending time with your dogs. Kendall, when you mentioned you two love to eat together, you put a side note to me saying, no comments on how plainly obvious that must seem. <laughs> well, you know, any relationship could be big action and adventure, which as an American, I assume all relationships in Australia are like. Um, but it's when you are still in love, excited, and deeply committed through ordinary, life, ordinary day life things that makes it a strong and solid foundation that is built to last. Kendall, you mentioned that you love how funny Tom is. You love how much he loves animals. He'll tear up at cute animals, sad animals, hungry animals, any strange combination of animal friendship or even hypothetical situations where an animal that doesn't exist is hurt or sad. <laughs> it truly must represent how much love he has to offer. Most importantly, you love how much Tom loves you and how you have never felt better 
than how you feel when you are being loved by him. Tom, you love how confident she is and how she is without a doubt the strongest person in your life. She is incredibly funny and the brightest part of any of your days. She is so caring and full of love that it hurts your heart. She has given you the self-confidence to help you become the best version of yourself that you can be. Despite this confidence, you said you're not sure why she loves you, but you're positive it's definitely not the money. <laughs> Maybe it's that sweet ass she mentioned earlier. <laughs> your love extends to your muddy little dogs, Ducky and Sparrow, and will one day extend to your children. And one day after that, a gaggle of animals. <laughs> Ten years from now, you see yourselves raising this large family of children and animals, and maybe 50 years down the line, you know, when you're not making other old couples on cruise ships jealous by how awesome your love still is, <laughs> you'll have a nice block of land on the Bay of Plenty where perhaps your children's children and maybe even all of your animals' children will be together and enjoy each other forever. I now have a lovely list of gentle reminders that should goad the two of you towards your future wedded bliss. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It's not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. And most importantly, like it says in your song, love is the coal that makes this train roll. Now the rings. Tom, will you please take Kendall's hand, place the wedding ring, on her finger while repeating after me. This ring symbolizes. This ring symbolizes the love that I have for you. The love that I have for you. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And ever hope to be. And ever hope to be. Kendall, will you? Please take Tom's hand and place the wedding ring on his finger while repeating after me. This ring symbolizes, this ring symbolizes the, love that I have for you. the love that I have for you. As I place it on your finger, As I, place it on your finger I give you all that I am and ever hope to be. The ring is an ancient symbol, so perfect and simple. It has no beginning and it has no end. It's round like the sun, like the moon, like the eye, like arms that embrace. It's a circle, for love that is given comes back round again. Your rings are precious because you wear them with love. They symbolize your commitment in marriage. They remind you of who you are, where you've been, and where you're going. As you wear them through time, they will affect not only who you are as individuals, but also who you are as a couple. Tom, do you take Kendall to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, here in New York City, back home in Australia, or anywhere else your lives and loves may take you until the end of your days? I do. Good answer, bro. <laughs> Kendall, do you take Tom to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, here in New York City, back home in Australia, or anywhere else your lives and loves may take you until the end of your days? No. I guess that's settled then. <laughs> by the powers vested in me, by the city and state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. <laughs>